HD Wave Optimizer Pairing. First step is to turn on the DC disconnect. Prior to pairing, make sure you verify all your open air voltages on your strings. After that, over on the left hand side, we're going to turn that 1 0 switch to the 0 position. Then on the screen, we're going to tap the OK, verify our DC voltage, and then hold down on OK. Hold down until the countdown completes, then release, and turn the toggle switch on when it tells you to. Pairing will initialize, and initial pairing will take about 180 seconds. HD wave inverters will go through a few extra steps that you're not used to if you haven't used one before, and we'll go ahead and go over those now. First thing that you can expect is that the inverter will begin detecting optimizers. After that, it'll go through and detect strings. You're going to be given the option during this process to press any button to cancel. Best practice is to not press any buttons and just let the inverter go through the entire process without any type of interruption. After strings are detected, the results will be displayed on the screen, letting you know how many optimizers and how many strings were detected. After that, what you're going to start seeing is the DC voltage will begin to ramp up and come up to about operating voltage. After that, the DC voltage is going to drop back down. Don't worry when this happens. This is absolutely normal. This is the inverter testing the AC rapid shutdown. Following optimizer detection, string detection, and rapid shutdown test, the inverter will go into a five minute, five minute wake up mode and then produce as normal. Thanks for joining us at the Solar Edge Learning Lab.